Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Apple Golf Channel. And the next couple episodes, uh, we're going to do a mini series of what I call lagging. And what is lag? Why is it important? Why do you need it when you play golf? And how do you do it? What is the proper way to looking at it? What is the property or the principle of lag? So in this episode, we're just going to keep it short. Um, I'm going to explain to you what is lag in a sort of general sense. Okay. Um, really, lagging happens every day. If you're driving a car right now, if you get mad and you say, hey, I'm going to be paddled to the metal, and you just speed up. If you have acceleration, you go like this, you go like that, and then the car is going and your body actually going to go what? Going back. And that's really lagging. Also, that means your body is absorbing the G-force. Okay, So it's absorbing the energy. So you pedal to the metal and then your body is going to go back. Right? And also, um, we have space shuttles. Right? So what happened is, uh, let me get a basket. So, a bunch of balls here. But this basket, notice how the rockets, they, there's always, you know, if you pretend this is the engine, the, um, however you call it, the propellant, I don't know the proper term, but this engine right here, this propellant, it's not put flush on the ground, right? So what happens if that does that, it happened, the spaceship and the rockets, it wouldn't take off, it would actually tip over because it does need room from this area to propel into the ground there's got to be room so that's called a lag room to absorb the energy so that way the rocket or the space shuttle can go straight up all right so and now which we're going to go back to a lot of people a lot of instructors will use this towel so this wet towel i know when i was younger i was in a swimming team and we would do snapping people's you know the backside and so what you see right here if i do this and if i now this is wet it can only happen when it's wet there's got to be what i call the leathery feeling all right so what i do is i do that and i snap and there's the snap of the tower right so you can see there's actually a s shape of the towel that's creating this snap and this energy and the right so what you see there the snap which creates a s shape and that s shape it's also called lagging okay so what happens right now as you can see if you're in the car right now that you accelerate when you do lag you cannot control your body it happens naturally and when i'm snapping this towel you as a human being you cannot control the s shape okay so really lagging is a energy that's absorbing and release okay so there's no such thing that you can control it all right now if you do control it then it becomes a manipulation of the acceleration and speed all right so that's another reason why lagging is actually very difficult in a golf swing but once you understand it, if you work on it, it's just a byproduct of acceleration. All right. So lagging is just the byproduct of acceleration of proper energy. So if you produce proper energy, and if you accelerate, and you have pressure, and then you will have lag. Now in a golf swing, you have to allow the lag to happen so we're going to get into a lot more as far as lagging and release in the next couple episodes all right so today i just want to show you i want to tell you in a way how we get into and understand lagging okay the truth is you cannot control lagging lagging is not something you can control just like right now i can only accelerate with my arms but i cannot control sorry about the motorcycle i can accelerate with my arms but i cannot control the snapping of the towel if i do control that s shape then there's no lagging 
and there's no energy transmitting process all right so um thank you for watching please click like and subscribe to our channel if you have any questions leave a comment email me and um, i will see you next episode when we get into lagging with the golf club all right